Welcome to my grocery haul. Now this is a successful grocery run. Literally stocking up on this stuff. Hi everyone. So I just moved out for the first time about six months ago. I'm still learning how to do the whole adulting thing. I feel like a big part of that is grocery shopping, except this is not going to be your usual YouTube grocery hauls. No, this is going to be realistic because one, I am unfortunately a picky eater. Two, I don't know how to cook. And three, I like stuff that is easy. I love convenience. So here is a realistic grocery shopping vlog, little haul of a 21 year old living on her own for the first time. Okay, I've already made a few fatal errors here. One, I have not eaten today and you're really not supposed to go grocery shopping when you're hungry. Not a good combo. And two, I didn't even make a list because I kind of just need everything. I've been letting my refrigerator supplies dwindle down i'm kind of just gonna go up and down every single aisle and we're gonna play it by ear see what catches my eye i don't know if this is the best way to play it do not take my advice when it comes to grocery shopping because i'm not super good at it yet but what i will say is that it is becoming fun for me to grocery shop i never thought i would say that <laughs> into this grocery trip and I'm already regretting. I always regret getting the hand held basket, but I still do it. It's my most toxic trait, but honestly, it's kind of a workout. I just need to like switch arms because I don't want one arm to be like ripped and then one arm. So I've been obsessed with this popcorn. I'm also running out of room. Why is this like a dessert to me? Oh, so heavy. Okay, well, goodbye to $130. I'm actually gonna go to Whole Foods just because they have some stuff there that is only, I feel like, at Whole Foods. I don't go there often, but when I do, <laughs> I know it's gonna run up a check. So, just gonna get a few things from there, and then I think we should be done. Okay, if there's one thing I need to practice right now, it is self-control because they really know how to get you with like the cute packaging and I am one of those suckers for the cute packaging, even if it doesn't even taste good. I'm just like, oh, that's so cute. So let's hope my self-control comes through right now. <laughs> I'm not really gonna do like crazy grocery shopping here, probably just like little snackies. I really want to try a milk other than Oatly because I've been hearing that it inflames your gut and I've heard that like Oatly is not good for you, but I don't know. I've tried other milks and they're all kind of nasty. I've spotted what I actually came here for. Yay! Literally stocking up on this stuff. <laughs> I literally had to rest and put the basket down because it's so heavy. I don't know why I always do this to myself. I just refuse to use a cart. It's like this complex, I just can't. I don't know if anyone else is like this. <laughs> I got everything I need, plus a little more. <laughs> it was bound to happen, but I'm okay with it. Another successful trip. Also, another $100 plus trip even though i got like significantly less grocery shopping can add up so quickly especially because i don't like split it with anybody and it's all fun and games choosing out like what you want to eat and getting food that you like getting snacks that you like whatever it's all fun and games until you realize that because it's only just you pretty much eating that stuff things expire and then you haven't even opened it yet so that's something that i've been trying to learn is how to correctly like grocery shop without over grocery shopping because when I first moved out it was such a struggle because things were expiring left and right and I hadn't even used it yet because I didn't know how to like grocery shop for one person 
And guess what? I still don't, but I feel like I'm getting a little bit better. Also, does anyone want to point out how I am literally sweating? Like, I'm pretty sure I have pit stains. That's super cute. That was a whole workout. successful grocery run. Welcome to my grocery haul. Did I just eat the sticker? Huh, I didn't even chew it. <laughs> Sometimes I have a bad habit of like not chewing my food because I'm so hungry. So I just like swallow it kind of whole. And I was observing this apple before I ate it. I was like, oh, watch out for the sticker. I just have a sticker floating around somewhere like right here right now. Okay, anyway, enough waiting. Let's get to the haul, shall we? I'm going to start with just the stuff from like my regular grocery store. Ours is called Safeway. I know it's called different things in different states, but anyway. I've got loads of snacks. I am a snack queen and lately I'm obsessed with like cheddar or cheese flavored things. This reminds me of my childhood because my mom used to always get this smart food white cheddar popcorn. It is so delicious. I don't know why I got party size because I'm going to devour this. And then I also got these simply organic white cheddar little like Dorito chips. This also kind of reminds me of my teenagehood because fun fact, my mom was, she was like health conscious. She was a health conscious queen. So hardly did we ever get like the normal style of chips of whatever. No, we got the simply organic and it kind of stuck with me, but these actually taste really, really good. I got a sack of apples. These are honey crisp apples. I do not know the difference between gala apples, Fuji apples, honey crisp apples. I don't know. I just think the name honey crisp is really cute. So we've got about six apples in here plus the one I just tore into. Also keep in mind, this is not the grocery haul of someone who knows how to cook, but I guess this isn't like your average grocery haul. I don't know. You decide for yourself. But I did get some frozen stuff. I got some acai packets. These are really good for smoothies. If I wanted to make like an acai bowl, these are so good, especially in the summertime. Got some mushrooms. I love to cook these up, saute them a little bit. I haven't done it in a while. The last time I tried to make myself some mushrooms, they were expired and it smelled like fish. So I'm not gonna let that happen again. I'm probably gonna eat this sooner than later. I got some organic pot stickers, chicken and vegetable, super good little quick lunch. And kind of similar to that, these are chicken and vegetable spring rolls. It's just nice to have stuff that you can pop in the oven, in the toaster, and just have like a quick meal. Pasta. I got three packages of pasta. You already know why. I tried out a few new shapes, which I'm really excited about. This is called Jamelli. Jamelli. I don't know. It looks twisty and cute. Look how cute that shape looks. Does that not look like it would taste amazing? Tell me if you also think this, but I feel like the shape of the pasta has different tastes. Even though they're all the same pasta, different shapes correlate to like different moods. Do you know what I mean? It's also just like a different experience eating penne versus eating little bow ties, mini farfalle, farfalle. I got the mini version because Stuff that's tiny is just cute. And these are like mini rigatoni little tubes. And I'm so excited. I have never eaten this style of pasta. I've eaten like rigatoni, but not mini ones. We've got some chicken sausage, spicy cilantro. This is really nice for like breakfast, even just like with some rice for dinner. <gasps> I got cheese sticks because I recently rediscovered them and I got them and I ate it in two days. So this time I'm gonna pace myself a little better. Comment down below if you bite your string cheese or you peel it. Please don't tell me you bite it. Anyway, I got some shredded Parmesan cheese for my pastas. Fruit, I've really been liking blackberries and blueberries. I haven't really been in like the strawberry mood lately. And I only recently started liking blueberries. So that's progress if you ask me. These do tend to get like moldy kind of fast. So I'm gonna try and eat these super soon. I got some apple bananas. If you don't know what apple bananas are, I think they only make them here 
and in other countries, I believe Brazil or is it Peru also has apple bananas. I know they're not super popular like in the States on the mainland, but they are so good. They're a little bit smaller than your regular banana, but they are full of taste and they're like a little bit sweeter. They're my favorite. I got one single lemon. My favorite creamer of all time. I have the most delicious, fantastic coffee recipe and I swear this creamer makes the biggest difference, so. And last thing from there, we've got some strawberry cream cheese for no other reason other than I like to grab a spoon and like eat it just the cream cheese. For me, it is like a delicacy dessert. I don't even like to put it on anything. I don't even have bagels or anything to really put this on. I just like it as she is with a spoon. I used to just take my finger and eat it, but then I got in trouble for my mom. You know what? Now that I live alone, I could just eat it with my finger. I don't have to follow the rules anymore because I make my own rules, but I feel like my mom's gonna watch this and get mad at me, so I'll eat it with a spoon. Mm. That is too good. Now moving on to Whole Foods, AKA Whole Paycheck. We got some lovely little desserts. These are strawberry coconut cream ice cream mochi, and this is my favorite. I am obsessed with ice cream mochi, and this one doesn't have dairy, it is with coconut. And usually, I don't really like the taste of like coconut ice cream, but in this, it actually tastes super good. And then I also got these little like fruit pop-ups. I feel like this just spoke to my inner child, and it'd be so fun in the summer to just like grab a little frozen push pop. How cute. I know I literally just said I don't like the taste of coconut, but I, for some reason, was intrigued by coconut fruit bars. It might just be because the packaging was so adorable. More frozen food. I got two pizzas. This brand is so delicious. It's thin crust. This one is uncured pepperoni and sliced chicken sausage pizza with some like mushrooms and stuff. And this one, I actually got this before, but it's like a pesto with tomato and mozzarella, very good. I got a Caesar salad kit. These are just so easy to throw together. Don't come for me, I know salad kits aren't the best, but in a pinch, <gasps> why did they put the whole bottom in there? Ew, do you see that right there? That is not edible. I recently was introduced to brie cheese and now I'm addicted. So I just got this cute little pizza pie slice of brie cheese. And then with that, I got these little crackers. This is like sourdough flatbread crackers. So good. I love eating these as little snacks. It's Italian salami with manchego cheese and then the salami with Monterey Jack cheese. They're just good in a pinch, a nice little snack. I got some oat milk. Like I was saying in the store, I have just been hearing things that oat milk might not be good like for your digestive and gut health. I don't know. I have tried other brands. I have tried other almond milks and all of them just taste nasty to me. So I don't know if you have any good recommendations for what I should use instead of this, comment down below. Only if they're good though, because I, I don't know. I just, ooh, I'm picky. I'm picky and some almond milks and oat milks Disgust. Randomly, I got tomatoes. I don't know why. I just had this idea. I was like, oh, what if I like cut them in half and salted them? That could be cute. I got some original bitchin sauce because I have quite a few crackers that I could dip that in. Some pickle chips. I have like dill pickles right now, but I thought the pickle chips were like cute and small. I don't know. And then for my yogurt that I like to eat in the morning, I got this granola. It's Honey Almond by Nature Valley, Nature's Path. And finally, this is what I came to Whole Foods for. It is the Justin's Peanut Butter Cups. I got two dark chocolate and two milk chocolate. I always just get one. And then within a few days, I'm like, why didn't I get more? So I got four. I get so many random cravings for sweet things. And so I like to have these in my pantry so I can eat one or two or three and it fixes the sweet tooth. And that was my haul. Now I have to put it away. Gotta restock the fridge with some juice boxes. <laughs> Perfect. As I am like putting stuff away, I'm starting to notice that I forgot a few things. As per usual, that's what happens when you don't make a list. But surprise, surprise, the main thing that I forgot is baby spinach. And that's like one of the one vegetables that I kind of eat. And of course, 
I forget it and now I look like I literally don't eat vegetables. I kind of don't, but I kind of do. I'm trying, okay? <laughs> I'm trying. The pantry is now stocked. I feel like with this, I'm fine if I have more than I maybe need just because most of this doesn't expire for a long time, but I have all of like drink stuff up here, Alani New Energy drinks. These are mostly like pastas and dry ingredients. This one is all of my snacks. I don't really have this organized. That's that. And then down here, I just have like my little candies. I have some dried fruit, all of my <laughs> Nespresso pods for coffee and then just random kitchen stuff down there. But there still is one thing that we are missing that is probably the most important thing and that is bread. Hello. Uh, I have an order for Ava. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. The bread is secured. Something crazy just happened. I think I'm a regular at the bread shop now because I walked up and the lady who usually hands me my loaf of bread, she goes, hi Ava. <sighs> Cause usually I have to like tell her who it's for. I'm a regular. Ah! This is the most exciting thing. So wholesome. I'm crying. Also the bread has a front row seat. Now I'm good for the week. I just have to go home and cut it and hope I don't cut myself in the process. Getting better at cutting bread, super exciting. Oh, that just smells so good. Get a whiff of that. Ooh, you know what would hit so hard right now? String cheese, bread, and little pickles. <gasps> <sighs> I got pickle juice everywhere. <gasps> Look how pretty the little ridges. Oh, it looks delicious. My string cheese fell on the floor. And hair on it, ew. Let me know if you like this video. I don't really do grocery type videos on my channel, so let me know if you liked it. And if you stayed to this point in the video, first of all, you're amazing. You deserve some cheese and bread. And second of all, comment down below the cheese and bread emoji. Any food emoji, any food emoji that your heart desires. Bye. <laughs>